In this video I'll demonstrate the basics of setting up an SPSS data set. So here we have an SPSS data file which looks much like a spreadsheet file. This is the data view where the data can actually be entered by hand. Um, this is the variable view where you can add and delete um, variables and define their attributes. So here we will create a variable called participant and we'll that will represent the participant number. Uh, we'll leave that as numeric because it will be represented by a number. The width indicates um, the number of digits that that variable will be. You can leave that as a default, although we'll by no means need eight digits for that variable. Also, decimals indicates the number of decimal places that it will be rounded to. Uh, label, this is where you can provide a more precise um, specification of what the variable is. Uh, so if more detail were needed, it's not here, but we'll just do it uh, just for the hell of it. We could put participant number if more detail was, was needed for what the variable name represented. Uh, also, you can have spaces under label, but you cannot have spaces under um, participant under um, variable name. So instead of participant, we could put participant number and use an underscore. Um, under values, this is where you would assign labels that can be associated with uh, different numbers. We'll, we won't use that for this variable, but we'll use it soon. Uh, missing, this is where you could assign what a missing um, variable, what a missing case will be defined as. So we would put something like if we wanted 999 to be missing for some reason, we could put it like that. And then columns, that's how many columns would be visible in the data view. Uh, usually just leave that at the default. The alignment and also the type of variable. So if it's a nominal variable we might want to label it as such. If it's ordinal or ordered categories we could label it as such and if it's scale we could label it as such. This is technically a nominal variable but we'll just leave it alone because it doesn't really matter. And the role is that's the method of how the data are input or what the variable is supposed to do. Okay. Under the next variable, we'll put age, and for that we can leave everything at the default. It will be numeric. Um, we could put under label age of participant in years, if we wanted to be more precise. And we don't need to change anything else. Okay, for let's have gender. For gender, we would actually want to leave that as numeric and we could assi assign a more precise label but um, that's fine for now what we want to do is assign values so that let's say one is female and click add two is male and click add and then ok so now we have values that are s assigned to various numbers so it will make entering the data easier and then finally we could have something like employment status, right? So if we had various levels to that we might also want to assign values. Uh, so one we could put full time, two part time, and three none. Now we have four variables in our data set. If we went back to the data view, we can see now that those variables that we set up are now columns in data view. So if participant 1 was, let's say, 30 years old and was female and had no employment status, then we could enter the data like so. Now if you do something like this and numbers are showing up where you've assigned values, you just need to press this button right here that says value labels. So that will toggle the number and its associated value. So we could continue entering data. Like so. And that's the basics of how to set up an SPSS data set. Of course if you're entering data by hand, you're going to want to save the data early and often and in a place that you could access later. Thank you.